This theory finally solves FNAF World. One of the toughest nuts to crack in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise is this seemingly non-canon spin-off game, FNAF World, in which the player goes through a mini RPG playing as several different characters in the Fazbear franchise, eventually meeting one of many different endings. There is a normal plot to this game, but there's also several secret endings that you can achieve, including one that's accessed by setting clocks that have you do the actions that you do in FNAF 3 to access the Happiest Day minigame, eventually ending in a screen that's straight out of the epilogue of FNAF 4. So what does this game mean? Well, I think FNAF World is trying to tell us that the happiest day is for the crying child, the bite victim of 1983. Even further, the happiest day was not only created and conducted by the ghosts of Charlie and Cassidy, but was helped along by the brother of the crying child, Michael Afton, by playing an in-universe version of FNAF World while he was working at the FNAF 3 location. There's a lot of evidence that points to this being the case, but I think that 